For two days at the end of August, Jamie and Judith will take on a challenge that will test their newfound biking abilities. The co-workers are currently training for the 2015 Ride to Conquer Cancer, an event that will take them from Vancouver to Seattle, covering over 200 kilometers over the two-day ride. Several of my co-workers have done it in the past and raved about it, so just sort of thought it would be a, a neat way to get out there and for a great cause. So. I've biked before, certainly not hardcore road biking with the bike shorts and all that sort of thing. I've done a try before, so that's kind of the extent of my experience, but I really bought the bike and started riding for this ride. No, totally new, but yeah, it, really learning to love it. It's a neat way to get out there and see all sorts of different parts of Kelowna and yeah, really enjoying it. <laughs> a new hobby. Now in its seventh year, the BC Ride is expected to attract over 2,000 participants. Although riding over 100 kilometers each day can feel like a daunting task, much of the stress is eliminated thanks to the encouragement of each other as well as other participants. It's just been good to encourage each other, to remind each other to train. We just went out for a ride yesterday morning actually together. So it's, it's nice when you have to wake up at 5 in the morning for a ride to have somebody there to, to meet you and to kind of, we're both at the same level and that we're both learning how to bike. They're very encouraging. Um, they say people from all sorts of types of walks of life and different bikes and everything can do it. So if you pick that more classic route, um, it's very doable. So yeah, just to get out there and get the fitness level up and all that stuff. You hear about people who do it on cruiser bikes and unicycles and all kinds of crazy things. So Jamie and I have both got our, our proper road bikes. I'm hoping that that'll go pretty well. On top of training, Judith and Jamie have been busy fundraising with the goal of each raising $2,500 in support of the BC Cancer Foundation. Their progress and online donation pages can be found by searching their names on the Ride to Conquer Cancer website at conquercancer.ca. We've been doing all sorts of interesting fundraising through our work um, and just uh, hosted our first golf tournament, which was really fun and a great experience. So yeah, it's going well. We found that people really are affected by cancer and every t everybody you speak to really ever since I started this has a story and so uh, they want to get involved and they want to be part of our fundraising efforts and we have actually found quite a bit of support on that side. The ride will take place on August 29th and 30th beginning in Vancouver and wrapping up in Seattle with 9.1 million dollars raised through last year's event it's hoped the $10 million mark will be eclipsed this year, all in support of the BC Cancer Foundation. Reporting for Go on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne in Kelowna.